It was historic. Sheldon van der Linde on pole position as uh, we got away for race two here at Zolder. And it was a three-way fight going into turn number one. Sheldon van der Linde, Philip Eng and Rennie Rask getting a little touch from Robin Freins. But it was Sheldon van der Linde that converted that pole position into the race lead right at the very start. Although, of course, all the baying cars behind as Philip Eng was ran wide onto the curbs and kicked up a bit of dust. He lost out on a couple of places to uh, Timo Glock and potentially to Robin Freins as well. As you can see, Robin Freins putting himself through into that P4 place. So Sheldon van der Linde leading, but Rennie Rast was looking ever so racy. And it was a question of when, not if, the overtake was going to come. And Rennie Rast put himself through on the inside and manages to pick up that P1 place from Sheldon van der Linde. Although the young South African, just 20 years of age this week, was trying to fight back. In the end, the experience of Rennie Rast was enough for him to seal that to P1 place at this stage of the race. Robin Freins and Philip Eng were continuing their ding-dong battle, that's for sure. The uh, battle between Audi and BMW raging as they went side by side. And here Philip Eng with the pace to put himself ahead of uh, Robin Freins. And Timo Glock was lurking not far behind either, so uh, Philip Eng put himself ahead at that point. Rennie Rast came in for his mandatory pit stop. And when he would come out again, he would be ahead of Sheldon van der Linde. Now, bear in mind, Rennie Rast would be on cold tyres. Sheldon van der Linde's tyres up to temperature, but all the experience of Rene Rast meant that he was able to stay ahead of uh, Sheldon van der Linde and then Philip Eng, and then it was uh, Robin Freins as they made their way across the timing line once again. Marco Wittmann was on a charge to Robin Freins, and going into turn number one, Robin Freins opens the door slightly. Marco Wittmann accepts the invitation, clatters in to the back end of Robin Freins, and regrettably, that would be the end of his race. And, that would have an effect on the race because where the Robin Freins car ended up meant that the safety car was called for. Sadly, Robin Freins able to take no further part in the race. Once the car was recovered, it was the indie style restart, which we love in DTM. And Rennie Rast made no mistake. And Sheldon van der Linde was under pressure from Philip Eng and Timo Glock and uh, Marco Wittmann, who, of course, was under investigation for the touch on Robin Freins at this point. And Mike Rockefeller was looking pretty racy as well, but Rennie Rast making no mistake at the restart. And as you can see, gapped himself by uh, seven or eight car lengths over Philip Eng at the restart. Timo Glock and uh, Marco Wittmann having a real ding-dong battle, and Marco Wittmann and Loic Duval ending up in the gravel. Uh, they did manage to keep it back on the tarmac, but at that point lost so many places. Now, Jamie Green and Mike Rockefeller both managed to get past Sheldon van der Linde towards the end of the race. And it was an extraordinary race with so much drama right at the end. Rennie Rast would win. And he did a great job, but it was also a brilliant P2 for Philip Eng, rounding out a very strong race weekend. He, of course, took his first race win in race one. And Jamie Green on the podium for P3. Rennie Rast, once again, a race two race winner. So uh, Rennie Rast then celebrating his success as the DTM returned to Zolder.